Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It's a beautiful day. It's still cool outside, but the sun is shining. We're supposed to get up to 17 degrees today. That might be a push. Mind you, it's probably just the wind. So, Leather Bag Lady weather report for Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. It's still damn cold. But anyway, it's only April, right? So we got uh, too spoiled with uh, the few days in the mid-20s that we've had so far in the last few weeks. Anyway, I'm going to get the bags done quick, 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 because uh, it's a bit of a special day for me today. So I wanted to maybe uh, share a little bit of that after the bags, because I know some of you uh, probably don't care about that stuff um, and just would like to see what bags I have for you today. So let's get to that. Um, 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 where are they? Oh, here they are. So a couple of little guys today. These are both from the 60s. This first little one, let me bring you down a little bit. This first little one is uh, Canadian made. It's uh, by a Canadian company called Elegance. I do have quite a few of their bags. This is a very slimline 60s, uh, either clutch or it's got a little pull tab here. You can open it up and there is a strap inside and it's got this really cool little mechanism that you can drop the strap down into the bag and use it as a clutch. Now, also, you could, if you wanted to take this off, um, you'd need a pretty small or slim uh, hook to use these, but it, it could be possible. There's your um, Elegance Made in Canada tag. There's a slip pocket and it's a velvet interior. There is some wear inside, um, you know, just some little rub marks, nothing too crazy. And they're, I'm gonna stick this strap back in. And there is some wear on the gold tone hardware. But it's a nice little bag. And I don't get a lot from the 60s and I get even less from the 50s. So when I do come across them, I pick them up. The next one I like much better. I like that one. But this one's just a little fancy. So this is a gray and brown color combination, which is a little unusual I feel I'm wearing a gray nail polish and you can see how close it's kind of topish gray um they call it uh shark skin I've had uh paint many years ago now in uh, my other house I had uh, my living room was painted in a color called shark skin and it's very similar to this and then you've got the brown snake skin which is just very art deco, I feel, like this kind of shape. And there is a little bit of ruching at the bottom, which means you are, you know, you are going to be able to get some stuff in there. This, unfortunately, would not work as a clutch because this uh, hardware does not tuck into the interior of the bag. And then um, the gold tone is in uh, probably better shape on this bag than the other. Um and it's got this really neat added kind of, again, Art Deco influence, I feel. And your little snap top opens up to a velvet interior in absolutely fantastic condition. There is a zipper compartment. No branding, so I don't know uh, anything about this bag. But it's really cute and very similar uh, strap length. I think it's 18, 19. 18 19 inch strap drop so shoulder for sure cross body probably not but equally and probably a little easier done with this because the the space is a lot more generous on this bag you could take this strap off and put a longer strap on it if you wish and you've got a couple of color choices as well which makes it a lot more versatile and one of the trends for this season is chains. So whether it be a chain decoration or a chain strap, I'm seeing a lot of partial chains. So you've got maybe chain up to here and then the rest is leather. And I've got quite a few, got a couple of really nice bags. Uh, one in particular 
it's like a burgundy bag and it has like a real kind of hand painted look motif that has a chain and leather strap just that kind of just popped into my head that's listed in my etsy store and that's a beautiful beautiful bag so that's bag number two so that's my bags for today and this is the end of the bags that i've thrifted since we came out of the last lockdown so um I'm going to move on to some of the bags. I think I mentioned it the other day uh, behind this wall. I've got a ton of bags that some are vintage, some are not. What I've done is I've categorized them by brand. So I'm going to go through that uh, number, like through that bunch of bags and take out what is vintage and leave what isn't. Because there are for sure, there's some absolute lovely vintage coach, vintage Danier for sure. I've got some really nice vintage Danier um fossil not so much roots all my root stuff i i listed a really nice roots kind of acidy green tote style bag today there are some blemishes on it but it's it's really neat i i've not really seen colors of this of this uh tone coming from roots before so that was listed today so i'll do a video on those two bags on monday so for those of you who have seen the bags and that's it for you, have a great rest of the weekend, have a great Friday. And for those of you who maybe like to hang around for a little bit, what uh, is special about today is it's Bruce and I's one year anniversary today. So I just got back from meeting him at the spot where we had our first kind of coffee date in the parking lot at uh, Walmart. It was COVID when we met. So we were kind of, I mean, it was back April last year. Nobody, you know, we all thought the planet was going to end. So we really were kind of defying the rules uh, last year by having a, a parking lot date. But uh, it's been a bumpy road for me, not for Bruce. Bruce has been very in for whatever ride this is going to be. And it was me that really struggled. Um, I've waited for a long-term relationship for a long time, but didn't in any way, shape, or form anticipate me being so hesitant um, to, to move forward. And, and I'm still not moving forward in a traditional way, I guess. I mean, we have friends who met each other after we met each other, and they're already buying houses together and whatever. We're not anywhere close to that, um, if ever. I don't really see us living together at any point. I mean, periodically, like he's here for two weeks until his trailer arrives. Then he'll be at the trailer all summer. And then maybe he'll be here for the winter. I don't know. But um, it's been a struggle for me. Um, I, like I said, I didn't anticipate it. I've waited for this for so many years. And then I got it. And... There were a few points in the last year where I didn't want it. And we split for, you know, short periods of time and managed to kind of figure it out. And like I said, it's all been me, Bruce. He hasn't been single for long enough to have weathered the storm of dating in today's time. The online dating, the you know, men that just want sex, which most of them do. Um, and I'm sure there's women out there like that too. So, you know, I'm just, I'm stating from my perspective. Um, I met some really great people along the way. Um, one or two that I had hoped would turn into something um, special and have great memories and not some not so good memories of those. And, and I, I really feel that all of those experiences with those folks have gotten me to where I am today. And just as recently as a few weeks ago, I still, you know, like I still miss some of the aspects of those previous relationships. And I think, I think we all, you know, if we're all really honest, and I try to be as honest as I can. I mean, I've shared a lot of my concerns with Bruce. I've shared a lot of the things that I miss from other situations, which I'm sure he really didn't want to hear. But I'm a talker, and I just think out loud, and we've talked about 
all kinds of things and and he understands where I feel things aren't what I would like and and there's definitely things that he wished he wished I was more affectionate he wished I was more into you know being a full-fledged couple but I really don't believe that there's any rules if if you want to be successful in a relationship especially as you know in middle age We've all got war wounds. We've all got battle scars. And those wounds and battle scars and experiences, they affect who we are the next time round. Because now we have insecurities where we didn't have insecurities. I mean, my last situation has really, really taken a toll on me in terms of wondering whether I was crazy or not or I mean I'm a I'm a very strong woman and I'm very independent but I couldn't let go of it I could I mean there were some elements of it that are were amazing and I, and I don't have them in this relationship but you know what nothing's perfect and it's really taken me a long time to let that go and um but I knew those other situations weren't going to go anywhere. I knew deep in my heart they weren't going to go anywhere. I wanted them to so badly, but they just didn't. And then, you know, something walks into your life where you kind of treat it with the same attitude because you, you've convinced yourself before it even starts that it's not going to last because nothing ever has. So, and you know what? There's no guarantees. Maybe this will last. Maybe it won't. But we're doing really well. We're doing really, really well. And those of you who know us as a couple out there, I know some of our friends uh, subscribe to my channel. You know the struggles that we've had. And, and some of you, uh, some of my girlies out there, you know, we've talked and, and you know, um, you know, you know, even more on a personal level, some of the struggles. It's like that movie Weird Science. Uh, Kelly LeBrock, I think was her name, where the young boys, uh, engineered the perfect woman they took a little from here a little from here a little from here my goodness ladies if we could do that eh my goodness but you know what Bruce is a family man he's an honest man he just thinks the world of me and tells me every day and you know what I I never used to need that but you know what when you're in a relationship where you don't hear that ever um it makes you it makes you into a crazy person. It really does because you start to doubt your worth. And um, yeah, I tried. To, yeah, just just you know, every every experience is a precursor to how you feel about your next experience. And I feel that everything happens for a reason. And I wish those people well. Um, I'm not saying any names because I know one or two of my ex-friends do watch my channel. So, um, a bit weird, but you know, there you go. Uh, but anyway, here we are, April 23rd. It's been 12 months and we're, we, we're going to keep going because it's, it's a lot of fun. We have a ton of fun and we laugh constantly. We like different music. That's a struggle. That's a struggle. Bruce is a country bumpkin and I like hip hop. I like top 40. I like country too, but I don't get to listen to my music very much. So um, I'll save that for when I'm down at the beach or, you know, when I'm by myself. So anyway have a great rest of the weekend I just wanted to mark today's occasion with um, a little shout out to what has been more of a struggle for me than I ever imagined but you know what it's all worth it and hopefully we just keep growing together and who knows where it'll end up I just know that at 53 years old it's still a struggle you don't have it figured out just because you're a little older and uh, it is what it is. So you guys have a great rest of the Friday. Have a drink. Cheers, my anniversary. Whoever you are out there, Jules, I know you will. And uh, maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow. I know we've got no trailer, but uh, Bruce will want to see what the landscaper has managed to accomplish today. So we'll be up there tomorrow sometime. Anyway, enjoy the day. 
Have a great weekend and I will talk to you all on Monday. Bye.